Yes, sir. Look what came in the mail. Ooh, Yeezy jacket from Gap. All right, let's check this out. All right, let's see what the hype is all about with the new red Yeezy jacket from Gap. I'm gonna give y'all my honest opinion as I open this up. First thing that I see is we got a basic box, $300 jacket from Yeezy. You would think it'd be a little, a little different. Red package, all right. Got the inside branding. I mean, first thoughts, I'm looking at, let's look at construction, okay. I'm just wondering, like, when I look at some of the stuff that I do with, like, the inside tags and all of that, like, how much different is it when you have a, a billion-dollar industry doing the clothes versus, you know, independent clothing designer? But what I do want to do before I really give it a true, true review is do a test with it on Yeezy Season. <laughs> Wife said I look like a lollipop. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Tuned In Tony, and you are back live with another review. In today's video, what we're talking about is the brand new Yeezy jacket from Gap. Do you pick their outfits? Mm -hmm. You do? Is that fun for you? Mm -hmm. Just touched down in the mail. You know, just checking it out. New drip in, and I wanted to give you guys my review, what I think about it. Definitely a hype beast item. Perhaps caused a lot of commotion. Maybe. I think for hype beast, it's cool. It's definitely gonna create people to like look as you know, like when they see you out with it, it's like, oh, there go the Yeezy jacket. So I definitely just kind of want to be a part of it and then give you guys the first hands-on review. Like this jacket just touched down. The first thing I would say is like this construction right here is kind of cool. How you can like tighten the jacket with this drawstring that's on the inside. You know, I think that's pretty cool. It's made out of a material that could come off as probably inexpensive or cheap. But the craftsmanship of the bubble with the sleeves is very different. Cause then you could also, if you wanted the hype beast look like that, you could wear it like that. That's pretty cool. I know Kanye is very like minimal when it comes to the design, but standing out at the same time. So that's why I think this jacket is when I look at like no buttons, no zippers, just literally like bubble vested. I think this jacket can completely stand alone for an outfit. Certain things that I wish it had more of. When I look at just like Yeezy made in China, what I don't like about it is, give me one second, I wanna show you like a jacket that I had made from my line. One minute later. So for me as like a small business, you know, black clothing designer, just seeing this the way that they got it, it just seems a little bit inexpensive. I feel like there's way more hype in this jacket than it actually is. True quality is not bad at all. You, you ain't got you, the if, answers. If you, if, I'm just trying to compare it for how customers, you know, would treat me in the line. One thing that I look at is, you know, like hang tags, you know, the, the logos actually inside of the garments for real. Spending $300 on a jacket, you know, even to like small details like this, how in my line, I have, you know, like the historically black, the logo, the wash instructions, tumble dry. So when I look at, you know, a jacket like this, okay, I see some stuff in here, so I'm gonna take that one back. Not a bad jacket. No. <laughs> I want to show you guys like the detail so you can see like the material. It's made out of some like, I don't know what this would be like, polyester type of bubble coat, but probably could rip real easy if it snagged on something. This is a medium, 5'9". This is how a medium fits. So I would say pretty true to size if you're ordering it right now. But overall, I would say definitely a cool jacket for a hype beast if you feel like you're in it. Let me know in the comments what you think about the jacket does have pockets on the side that are pretty comfortable i think yay did a good job yay and gap with just like the bubbleness and the weight to the jacket so i would give it props on that overall i'm not mad with the 300 dollars i spent i feel like it's definitely a staple piece for the closet overall definitely a different type of style for sure let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section below and i'll holla at y'all oh 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 before I leave, remember to like, subscribe, and share, and check my next video out. Tuned in.